Welcome back everybody, it's Rudy with Alpha Investments and due to the nature of this particular video, this is one of the only times we are actually going to open the actual box live on camera due to the sensitive nature of this particular video. You can even check the tracking number, it is 100%. Just got delivered in the last 24 hours here right at Christmas and this was shipped by registered mail from a gentleman who just wants me to honestly just said, hey, if I send you my Black Lotus, can you authenticate it? So we are actually going to open and verify on camera and just because so, due to the value, I want to have a record in case anything shady or if accused or anything weird happens. Now, of course, for those of you not familiar, when you actually have registered mail, um, they have to put a special what they call hardcore. It's kind of like a it's taped with string through it and they stamp it all so it cannot be tampered with. And it is transported by lock and key instead of by regular mail. So it does take a lot longer to actually get to you. The, trans the travel time is slower, and you can't be in a hurry. And it's usually designed for very high, high volume, not high volume, um, high dollar, low, you know, not in a hurry type stuff. Low, I don't even have a good word, whatever. So, today, a uh, gentleman's name is uh, Michael. I covered up his last name and address for obviously uh, sensitive reasons. I have not opened this, so hopefully there's no sensitive information inside. And um, let's get into this, and let's, uh, it's time to play! everybody's favorite game. Rudy, is my Black Lotus real? Or did you print it in your basement? Oh my god. Well, we're gonna find out, everybody. We are gonna find out. So, this video, like I said, normally this is all done off camera and early, but again, due to the pricing and everything at stake here, I don't know the condition, I have not, he did not send me pictures in advance. So I genuinely do not know what to expect here. Is there no... Okay, I want to make sure there's no... Okay. So I'm going to take the letter off. Um, is his address down here? No? Okay. So there's no actual address? Okay. And I will check on the letter here before I show it on camera. Make sure his information is not written on the letter. Uh, I'm going to cover up his name. Alright, here we go. So I'm going to fold that down. We're gonna do that, and then I'm just gonna cover up the name. How about that? So let's do this. So his name is covered, okay. All right, so close the Black Lotus from Unlimited. Here's his history of the car, 2014. I bought it from a local collector player. Uh, I believe he traded cash and cards in a shop in Southern Maine to acquire it himself. The person I bought it from was going through a rough time in his life and selling his Power 9 cards for reasonable prices. Thankfully, I was able to buy this from him for far less than it's worth now. Since the purchase has been sitting in my collection, well protected, held in high regard as one of my favorite Magic the Gathering trophies. Now, I'm at a time in my life where I would like to value the money from selling it more than time I spend staring at it and showing it off. You can still show it off to hot chicks, though. That's how, I mean, that's how I got dates in elementary school. I've had a handful of serious buyers take very close looks at it, but when it comes time to pull the trigger, they all wanted someone else to take a second look to be sure. One person in particular pointed out the wear around the edges. Hmm. And how, uh, in the bio, hold on a second, I'm sorry, I lost track. The wear around the edges and how that made it difficult for him to tell whether or not the layers were correct. I'm assuming a blue core, is that what that word layers is? Another potential buyer felt very confident in its authenticity, but wanted other, another investor or corroborate? Dude, I'm, I'm too dumb for big words. That's where I came in, Creepy Rudy. Can you help authenticate this Lotus? Thanks in advance for your time. Friends are big fans of your channel. You don't have to suck up to me. You can just give me a hug. Okay, so nothing sensitive. All right, so let's lay out what we got here. Before we open this thing, let's get it get it ready to go here. So the very first thing we're going to do, let's see what we got. Okay. Okay. So here's the card in question. We're going to lay everything out now. We're going to bring in our controls. So first thing we're going to do here is bring in, we got some... We got some beta lotuses. We have collector's edition and international collector's edition, one of each. And of course, we're going to bring in our unlimiteds. So we've got some high grade unlimiteds. We have some very, very gem mint, which I have not graded, needs to be graded lotuses. These things will probably be a nine plus for mint sample sizes. And we have some played, uh, more worn out black lotuses to compare for the worn out black lotus sample size. So, and we also have a bright blue sleeve for our control to make sure that we do not mix up the cards. <coughs> Whew, boy, five minutes just to set it up, huh? How about them apples? Goodness gracious. So, what's everybody's prediction? Anybody? Let's see. Okay, hold on. What's everybody's prediction in the case? Anybody? You guys want to predict? 
All right, I already have my prediction. My prediction already, without even opening it. Um, is that is there more than one card in there? There's more than one card, so we can't look at the back. Uh, my prediction, looking at it without even taking it out, I'm going to say it's authentic. I'm going to go ahead and call it right now. Okay. All right, we got oh, just some basic lands. Okay. Oh well, we already got it in a sleeve. That works too. Okay, cool. So we're going to leave all the controls there. We're going to take a look right out of the gate. And um, oh yeah, this is real. This isn't even, without going into some detailed small things I look at, I'm just going to show the card on camera. I'm not going to point out the authentic little things because I really don't want that public. 100% um, real. I already tell. Um, everything from the font to the size of the font to the zero positioning to the details, how it all looks, coloring, details, specs. Oh, yeah, this is very nice. It's played. Definitely got some, look, a lot of surface dents. We even have a... Almost actually almost looks like a surface crease on the side there. You guys see about right. Oh no, where's Rudy's tool when you need it? There's Rudy's tool. God, he always wants to be in the video. Uh, I'm gonna say right there, you actually have almost like a finger, like a dent from shuffling. That's actually a crease almost. So um it's not good for condition. I don't know if the gentleman was aware of that. And uh besides that, the front surface is actually pretty nice. A little dirt globs, some stains, but the back, you can definitely tell some table sliding and some dents from binders. Rolls uh, inking. Um, I'm not usually white border cards. You don't have inking issues. Uh, definitely legit. No questions about it. Hundred percent. Not even without a. And hey, if you want to sell it, Michael. Uh, yeah, please let me know. I'll shoot you an email before we. Uh, I'll send you a private link to the video. Uh, if you guys want me to, uh, I'm gonna leave my control ones in the sleeves. So we don't mix the thing up. And uh, yeah, these are very nice. And yeah, let's go with the the nice minty one. Yeah. Very cool. Very nice. Nothing strange. If you look at even the collector's editions, which is not like you know, anybody rebacks, it's white bordered. But no, nope, very cool. Uh, definitely a lot shorter of a video than I thought it was going to be. I was actually thinking it could be actually counterfeit. But again, based on what I see, the texture is perfect. The smell test, I can't, hold on. <sighs> yep, smell test is good. Feels great. Texture, flexing, thickness. Um, I don't have a bright light because I use my phone for the bright light, so I won't be able to actually do the light test on here. But I don't see any concerns. Here's a Gem Mint 10 one. And, um, yeah, very nice. As far as the back, I guess we haven't even looked at the back yet. Same thing as far as the back, besides the pretty good amount of wear, um, even the coloring is looks very nice. Man, this not even, there's not even a question. Like, there's nothing even, I mean, some people can zoom way in and kind of go to the whole a rosette thing. A lot of people look at the green dot on there. Um, this is nice. Even the the line that goes around the circle, that bluish, purplish hue. Everything is spot on. The centering looks good. The font, the actual difference, the name, the thickness. Ooh, sorry, camera's getting a little flipped out there. The actual Chris Rush on there, the thickness of it, everything looks good. The black font compared to the white background. And uh, everything looks good. I don't see any concerns on there. Because remember, white border on here is actually not nearly as much of a concern. By the way, before we go any further, I'm going to go ahead and put... Actually, I'm going to use the blue sleeve. I'm going to make sure it's easy. I don't want to make sure I mix anything up. So we're going to put that right into the blue sleeve. Okay. Like I said, it, it's a lot easier to deal with white border cards. But the white border cards are more counterfeited more often than the black border. Because it's easier to counterfeit. Remember, the number one old school card counterfeited is dual lands. When it comes to black border cards, the counterfeiting is a lot tougher because of all the different kind of the shades of coloring. Because, I mean, even on the just the literally the international versus the collector's edition. I mean, these, I would I don't know what the price is of the. I know they've come down a lot, maybe like 2000 each compared to the betas, which would probably be like 20000 each. But even the difference between these, there's a slight variant on a difference just from the fonts, the details, the circles. Everything still has a little bit differences on these. But when you deal with the white border, you don't really run into problems like that because there's no rebacking. At least I've never seen any form of rebacking or problems when it comes to is my Black Lotus real on the white border cards because, you know, I just don't think it'd be really possible. I mean, you can't just take the back off. You'd have to change the color of the outside. And I just don't, I don't know how anybody's going to be able to do that. So in a day and age where I would say a Gem Mint 10, I don't remember. I bought that for a couple grand like 10 years ago. I don't know what it is today. Same thing. I would assume the tens maybe are twenty thousand. I would assume the eights now are probably I don't know ten thousand. And these are probably similar. And of course the condition's different. So congratulations, Mike. I don't see any problems with it. You uh, this video will be public probably in the next forty eight hours. So if anybody's ever questions about selling your uh, black lotus, especially with that curl on the side, it's going to be very easy to point it out. 
Hope you guys learned something today. Thank you very much.